Uh, for a closer look at how this story is resonating here in Canada, we want to bring in community advocate Dorico Simmons, who is in Halifax for us this morning. Uh, Dorico, first of all, I want your reaction to what you've been watching as much of the country has been happening on the streets of Minneapolis, not just this morning, but through the night. Yeah, so, you know, I think that this type of response is actually, it's, an, it's inevitable. Um, kneeling uh, peacefully was seen to be a, uh, offensive. Begging uh, and pleading uh, to public officials and folks uh, for some reprieve of these incidents um, has seemed to kind of go on deaf ears. I'm not uh, an advocate of violence, and nor am I condoning violence. Um, but uh, this type of response by community uh, certainly uh, is, is inevitable at this point. Uh, what movement has George Floyd's death reignited? Yeah, so, you know, I don't think that a this has reignited uh, a movement because this movement has been consistent and continuous. However, uh, what has happened with uh, Mr. Floyd has just put this conversation at the forefront of our, of our consciousness and uh, of our conversation. Uh, Dorico, you know, when you, when you look back through the political rhetoric in the last 24 hours, you have the Minneapolis mayor, Jacob Fry, saying, uh, you know, calling for the arrest of these officers. Then you have the president weighing in around 1 a.m. this morning, uh, saying that, uh, you know, this dishonors the memory of George Floyd, uh, threatening shooting if he sees any looting. Uh, how, does, how does the community react to those political voices, uh, to both the actions and the anger that's on the ground? Well, I mean, I think that we've, we, with Donald Trump, we consistently, you know, know what we're going to get. Um, I, I, you know, personally, I don't pay attention uh, to what he, what he says. Um, but, you know, I think that the community's reaction, uh, I've heard positive things by, uh, from the community for the reaction of the mayor um, and the steps that he has been taken and uh, the leadership uh, with what has happened in Minneapolis. Um, Trump, of course, has thrust himself into the limelight again. Um, and I think causing more division um, and, and actually not helping the situation. I think when people are watching this, too, there's a sense of helplessness coming. We, we know that these cases happen. You can list off the names. You can list off the incidents. We've seen the video. Where and when does the change start and how does it come? Yeah, absolutely. So th this, this has been a, uh, something that I've been continuously asked, as well as members of the black community, where does change come? Um, and we've continuously provided answers that folks have seemingly uh, not paid attention to. Um, and so, you know, I actually asked the question in reverse. Rather than asking the black community, where does the change come from? I would actually ask folks of the white community, what has to change in order for this stuff to stop happening? And what do you believe has to change? Well, you know, I think that um, folks like uh, Mayor Fry, uh, people in leadership positions, folks in political positions, people who have decision-making power, actually need to step up and do something. Um, and uh, I think that uh, also police officers, um, you know, if you're working with people who are committing these uh, acts of negative engagement, police brutality, um, you know, there's always a saying of, uh, you know, a few bad apples spoil the bunch. And so if that's the case, then where are the good apples and why aren't you speaking out to condemn this type of behavior? More people that are in decision making need to step up and say something and do something. Dorico Simmons, I want to thank you for joining us here on Your Morning. Thank you very much. Well, as we head to break, uh, we at Your Morning wanted to share a powerful conversation that took place on The Social yesterday with one of our colleagues here at CTV, Etox, Tyrone Edwards, who's speaking about mental health uh, and how it has taken the toll of the events of this past week have taken on him as a black man here in Canada. I am no longer going to mute how I feel. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm an angry black man. I'm angry about this stuff. I'm tired of it. It's taking a toll on me. The best thing you, anyone can do is stop acting like you didn't see. Stop acting like you didn't notice. You can watch the full conversation from the social uh, on their social media page. It is a powerful uh, conversation that they have with Tyrone. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.